Last September, having sat through Adobe's Create the Web event in San Francisco, I wrote this piece here at Tuts, which started off by wondering if Adobe had actually gotten its mojo back. It was at this gathering where Adobe pulled the curtain back from the Edge Web Tools and Services lineup, and if you recall, I was seriously impressed with this little tool right here, Edge Reflow. On Valentine's Day this year, 2013, Adobe released Reflow into the Creative Cloud offerings as a pre-release product. This means you get to try out the product, poke holes in it, and let Adobe know where those holes are. In short, Adobe is encouraging all of you to become beta testers. And what we're going to do in this video is to crack open Reflow and look at some of the major interface features. Now, before we get started, there are a couple of things you need to be made aware of. One, this is beta pre-release software. That means it contains bugs and may even, God forbid, crash. This application is not production ready. You can't access the code to make changes from within the application. There are also no direct links into apps such as Dreamweaver or Edge Code. Finally, if you are the type of guy that believes the only way to design a website is through the use of simple text or other text or code editor, then this application is not for you. Reflow is a visual responsive web design tool aimed at people who are new to the field or who are looking for an RWD rapid prototyping tool. What it does is allow you to create and style responsive pages and then have them reflow across multiple devices and screens. This is not to say that Reflow will never get to the point where it is a production ready design tool, but right now we are at the same place where Edge Animate was when it had its first preview release. The basic functionality is in place and the application is ready to grow up from there. So let's jump in and take a look at Reflow. And the first place to start, of course, is right here in the Creative Cloud. Because it's available to you, you, should, you can just go into the Creative Cloud, and if you don't have a Creative Cloud account, you can get a free one for a month or so, and you can download Edge Reflow. Uh, the other application you really should think about downloading is Edge Inspect. These two will work together, and you'll see that in a minute. Once you've got that done, then you can pop over to Reflow. And when you open Reflow, this is what you see. Up here in the top are the tools. This is a selection tool. This is a box tool. Think of box like box as being a div and you're on the right track, a text tool, and of course, graphics, okay, or images. The two panels here, this is the properties panel. This is the layout panel and styling. Now there's not much here simply because these are the layout properties for the page you are looking at. And the page is composed of the brackets on either side here plus the grid in the middle. And if I click on the grid, just like that, you notice that the properties open up. And over here are the styling properties for the grid. You can add all kinds of things to them. Plus you can also style the pages. And with the pages, not only can you add color backgrounds to them, you can add gradients, you can add background images, and you can create some pretty complex backgrounds for your reflow pages. Okay, let's go back to the layout panel. Now down here is the DOM, right here. This little thing looks like a stack of books. And there's the body, and there's the container. And if I roll over this little container here, this is the overall container. So if I click on it, you notice that I can select it, and all the properties for the container open up. And if I want to see what the CSS driving it looks like, there it is right there. So we've got the height, margin, min height, and min width set to 90%. And you can copy and paste this code, that's what that's for to the clipboard. Moving along the bottom here are the alignment options. You can zoom in and out. For instance, right now I'm sitting with a 720p screen here for this recording, but if I want to see more room, I can open this up or zoom out so I can open it up to a much wider view. And you just get back to 100%. This little gripper here allows you to scrub in and out, and essentially what you are doing here is scrubbing in and out to identify the breakpoints in a responsive web design page. 
This little icon here is your direct link into Edge Inspect. We'll click this and anything that you've designed on your page here will connect to devices or appear on devices connected to Adobe Inspect. This little plus sign here allows you to add breakpoints or remove breakpoints. Now there are a couple of things that you can do here and I'll get into them a little bit later. But right now, yeah, for those of you that uh, are part of the Luke Robluski uh, school of thought mobile first, you can actually start in the mobile first view and work your way out, or you can start in desktop view and work your way in. The menus, file menu allows you to open a new document. You can't have multiple documents open, by the way. Uh, you can open existing documents, save or even save as. Edit menu, align allows you usual alignment options with the divs or boxes. You can arrange the items and you can even select them all. You can even group them or ungroup them. And we'll get into that a little later on. The um, view menu allows you to zoom in, zoom out, or go to actual size. On the page here, you can see the edges of your items. You can show the grid, you can show the panels, and you can even preview your page in Chrome. Now, this is the only preview that you're, you're going to get. So if you don't have uh, Google Chrome installed on your computer, you're going to have to install it to preview your Reflow pages. And the window menu and the help menu, right now, pre-release, pretty weak. So there you go. There's the interface. There's a lot to it, even though it looks very simple. Just simple things like selecting the container here, which is the background container. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. You can align items. You get your view. You've got the default that you can set, which is, here, I'll show you what it does. I mean, if we pull this gripper in and then you click on default, it's just going to spring right out to the largest size. And you can use the plus plus uh, here to start adding your breakpoints, but we'll get into those in the uh, next video. And your tools here, this is going to become one of your primary tools. This will be add a box, which will be the div tool. So there you go. There's a quick overview of the interface. And in the next video, we're going to get into working with various bits and pieces inside of Reflow, just so you can see what it does.